This is a mushroom called the lilac fiber cap. It's very common in woodlands and definitely one to avoid because it contains very high levels of the toxin muscarine. It causes you to sweat, it causes nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. There is a similar mushroom called the white fiber cap as well, which is white all over, another one to avoid. But this particular one is the lilac fiber cap. So this is the cap of one that's flattened out and it's starting to age a bit. And you can see it's got these lilac fibers running across the cap, hence the name lilac fiber cap. And it's got that reddy brown tinge in the middle on what we call its umbo, which is that bit that sticks up at the top in the middle. So the gills on this one are a light brown color, but they can be just an off-white or cream color. And the stem is thin, it feels quite fibrous and it's a whitish colour with a lilac tinge to it and a little bit brown near the bottom. There is a lovely mushroom called the amethyst deceiver, which could potentially be confused for the lilac fibre cap, but the amethyst deceiver is purple all over, including the gills. And even when it fades a bit in colour, the gills will be purple on the amethyst deceiver, whereas the gills of the lilac fibre cap, as I said, are more of a off-white cream or grey-brown colour. The smell is very different as well. The smell of the amethyst deceiver is pleasant. It's nice, it's mushroomy, whereas the smell of this is not very nice. It's a very strong smell, quite earthy. The less desirable way to describe it will be to say it's spermatic, but the point is a very strong, earthy, not particularly pleasant in my opinion, smell, whereas the smell of the amethyst deceiver is nice.